What's up everybody, welcome back. That was me two weeks ago knocking something off of my bucket list and that was actually just shoot in an action steel match. Today we're talking about the shooting experience. Pew pew. <laughs> I've been a proud shooter and gun owner since 2011. I have always wanted to do some kind of moving match, such as Action or Club Steel, which is what they told me it was called, with the eventual goal of actually doing a three-gun tournament, which is very similar to what you can see in some of the videos that I'll be sharing, except you now get to shoot with a pistol, an AR, and a shotgun. A fellow shooter actually let me know about one a couple of months ago. I couldn't go to that one, and so as soon as I heard that we had one on December 8th at the Central Florida Rifle and Pistol Club, I immediately put it in my planner. So what I wanna do is just share a little bit about the actual experience I had out there, some of the cool stuff that I noticed, uh, one recommendation I actually have for anybody that actually wants to do this as well, and then of course the cost. What did I actually end up spending out there? So the way all of this was set up was that we actually got broken up into different squads and there was a total of seven stages. Each stage had their own set of rules that were aside from the typical action steel and club steel rules, which I actually don't know completely. When I say rules, I mean things like making sure that when you shoot at one of the rectangles, you have to hit it twice. When you shoot at some of the circles, you actually have to shoot it once. There was even one that you actually had to shoot four, then move and shoot the four, and you could not step into the next box until you hit all four. So for those of you that have never shot and moved, that's super challenging. Which if you go and look at my video, I did an absolutely horrendous job at that one. You're actually scored based off of time, and you get a penalty for actually missing targets. For example, each target was actually worth a five second penalty, which really hurts when you are slow like me and are getting some pretty big times. This is my first time at a range where you could actually open carry, which means the gun is actually outside of your waistband, so it's not a conceal and carry. You're walking around, everybody's got their guns out, everyone has their magazines out, and I had never felt actually safer. I actually felt safer there than I did at some of the local ranges. Everyone was taking massive safety precautions, more so than I had seen, again, other ranges. Aside from it being unbelievably safe, I really had a great time and there was an atmosphere of having fun. Everyone was out there to go have a blast. While I am super competitive and wanted to get the best time, I obviously wasn't going to. It was my first time doing it. I was slow on my reloads, I was missing targets, all of the above. But at the end of the day, I had a blast. I was super stoked and I wanted to sign up for my next one. And just a side note, I'm big on personal development and shooting a gun accurately is one of those skills that you have to continually practice to maintain that skill. Which leads me to my one big tip. I've been shooting since 2011 and so I'm pretty comfortable around guns. I have taken classes on how to actively reload, how to clear jams, and how to just get really comfortable with a gun going off in your hand. The other things that come along with that are things like muscle memory to keep your finger off the trigger unless you're actually on target. Why is that important? I don't think I have to explain it, but I'm going to. As you can see from the videos, you are pulling a gun from your holster and you're also moving with a live gun in your hand. So things like muscle memory, without you having to think that you're gonna keep your finger off the trigger, is unbelievably important to make sure that you don't shoot yourself in the leg and anybody else around you. So to my recommendation, if you want to go and do one of these action steel matches, do one of these really cool events, I would recommend going to spend some time at an indoor gun range and I'd also recommend taking a couple of classes. Once you feel really comfortable around a gun and you feel that you do have the muscle memory to actually make sure that you're not going to misfire, go check out Central Florida Rifle and Pistol Club and sign up for your first match. So what's the damage gonna be? For anybody that's actually watching this, I would imagine you probably already have your own gun. If you don't, I'm not gonna dive too much into that, but you can imagine owning a pistol, getting some ammo, getting the actual holster and belt to actually go out and do this is gonna cost a little bit of money. I'll go ahead and give you that price breakdown, but what I'm really gonna focus on is the actual cost of the event because anybody that is watching this and does have a gun and is gonna go sign up and wanna do something like this, you're probably paying more attention to that. Really quickly, I was shooting with a Gen 4 Glock 19 and a nine millimeter. It's been a while since I got it, so I would imagine it's probably around $4.99 now. I got two extra magazines as well, which probably sat right around $25 piece. I got a holster for the actual Glock and then a holster for the magazines which sat right around $60 or $70. And the belt that actually held all of that together was probably at 50 bucks. I'll add all that stuff up for you and post it here, but that's not what I'm actually trying to convey here. The actual cost of the event was very low. It was $15 cash entry, and then you're gonna be shooting anywhere between 30 to 45 rounds. 30 to 45 rounds per stage. You can typically find decent nine millimeter ammo for let's say $11.40. 
So if we do the math, you're sitting either at 210 rounds for the day all the way up to 315. You go ahead and do the math there. So for ammo, you're looking to spend anywhere from $41 up. I think I sat right at $60 for the day, not counting the entry. So all in for the day, I only spent $75 to go out and knock one of my bucket list items off. A big thank you to Central Florida Rifle and Pistol Club for having excellent facilities and great volunteers. I had a blast out there for the weekend and can't wait to come back. If you are thinking about going and doing this and you have this on your bucket list as well, make sure that you're relatively comfortable with a gun and then go check out Central Florida Rifle and Pistol Club and sign up for the next one. I also put four of the seven stages I got to shoot. And so if you would like to see that, the actual stages and how well I did or how bad I did, you can go ahead and follow the video here. There's a lot less of me talking and a lot more shooting. If you liked this video, go ahead and press like if you want to come back for more bucket list items and more content like this, go ahead and press subscribe. If you do end up going out there and doing your very first one, please go out there and have fun and be safe. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.